Hi there. Thanks for tuning in to Make This Happen, where we discuss an idea we've been dying to see come alive. Every week, my friend Alex Gonzalez and myself, Jay Yee, will bring you a product you never knew you needed. Now, let's talk about Apex Legends. I just played the game. You've never played the game, but... And, no, I, I played once or twice. And in other Apex Legends news, it's coming to Switch. It is. And I'm... Not super excited, but I'll give it it's a shot. It's gonna run anyway. like it's gonna run. Um, I think it will run inferior to the consoles, but I mean, it'll be more accessible. Have you ever played um any of those Fortnite? games on Switch? Like, uh, yeah, either Fortnite or like I'm talking more like Overwatch or like uh, uh no, I don't know, The Witcher. Or <laughs> I can't believe that game's on that no. console. But also, um, isn't it wizardry where you're like, do I need a good computer to run these games? Or can you guys make it easier for my computer to run it? Because right. you made it on Switch. Uh, but like Overwatch I played and it is nigh unplayable for someone who plays it at 60 FPS on the PS4 Pro version. You can't. You, know? you can't. Like, like um, for, for instance, like I play Tracer and I could play Tracer at a platinum diamond level. And the only thing is, is for me to play that way, I have to play fast almost to the point where I forget to blink. Yeah. Like I'll just feel tears coming down my face and I realize, oh, I haven't blinked in a while. <laughs> so if, it, if I, I couldn't play her at the same level on Switch or if I couldn't see all the way down the level, you know, if there wasn't a depth of field, I'd have trouble. It's more input lag. That's the big trouble. So oh, that's, that's no. what I'm worried about on the Apex bye side. Bye-bye, Widow Mains. But yeah. uh, I think... It'll just be a fun game to play if I have Wi-Fi on my Switch just leveling up a new account because there's no cross-save or anything like that. Um, oh, no. It'll be fun. I'll, I'll give it a shot. But that's not what we're talking about today. Today, we're creating something new. Something new. new. <laughs> not Every really. Week. We're, okay. <laughs> we're doing an iteration on Apex Legends. Theoretically, this is what I want from Apex. All right. So Apex is the combination of two very popular first person shooter styles out in the wild right now the first being overwatch the second being hero Fortnite. Shooter. yeah so it's a hero shooter battle royale. meets battle royale and i want them to go more in the direction of what overwatch started to do in the later part of their years when they started to have a little bit less of a fe- fe- fervor around the game and less fervor. people playing and they started to do some cool, unique stuff in the arcade of Overwatch. Uh, so yeah. I kind of want that arcade game mode in Apex. And they already have like other game modes that they enter in and uh, circulate throughout uh, the seasons or whatever. Like for events, they'll bring in like different ways to play the game and uh, new different. Like sock Lucio ball, yeah, and, like stuff um, like the that. Snowball fights. Uh, they add those kind of things, but in Apex, it's always centered around you're still playing a battle royale. What I want is I want them to. They have three maps, and I think right now for me, three maps in Apex is good enough. Like I don't need a new map for a little while, especially since the last one I was a little iffy on. Um, mm-hmm. So if they stop making maps and did what I want or what I'm proposing right now, I think it would be great, which is take the map. And I know this is going to be nonsense to you. They're just going to be nouns. But let's say you take artillery from King's Canyon, right? Yes. And you just make the circle only surround artillery. Yeah. And essentially just make it a 4v4 hero shooter bad or uh uh free for all what's it called team 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 deathmatch deathmatch thank you yeah and make it like a team deathmatch mode it was it was like the most obvious choice so i got worried like i got nervous myself i was like that couldn't be but yes okay (laughs) i i like what you're saying here Ooh. So there could be team deathmatch, and there is no free for all in there either, is there? No, the closest thing to free for all we have ever gotten was the solos game mode, but that's still again battle royale. And so, uh, just have it where the circle is non penetrable because, like in battle royales, you could go into the circle, but it'll do damage to you. Make it like an invisible wall, 
just yes. place it down into artillery like or bowl. into we could bring back uh um skull town for this because skull town's destroyed right now and people love skull yep. town there's a lot of there you go. there's verticality there are buildings there's cover and just make it yeah like a 4v4 or like a 5v5 or whatever it has to be 6v6 and then put that invisible circle and people would pick their heroes there could be dupe heroes on the enemy squad but not on the same squad just like overwatch you know and yeah, yeah, yeah. just let people go for it you know and like some heroes will have sorry legends some legends will have like less good abilities for this game mode but i think it could be fun just for like a limited time event and just have it oh, go yeah. for like it a would week. be tons of fun and on top of that like players crave this type of stuff where apex legends has been out long enough that's not only about the gameplay but people are actually invested in the lore and the characters so to extend upon your idea, I think it would be even funner if like they had to clear out enemies from Skull Town. Like maybe they get taken back in time. I don't know the story at all. And uh before Skull Town gets destroyed, maybe you try to stop it. Maybe you try to stop the people that destroy it. I don't oh, know who that, that that's, is. It's happened already. That's happened. <laughs> Cause it's a fucking great idea. Yeah. Um, uh but what I could imagine it being like is just rotate these weekly things where yeah you do the battle not battle royale sorry team death match and then maybe even introduce a capture the flag maybe introduce yeah. a free for all maybe a introduce... pve where you're fa like you guys are facing just npcs yeah Th they technically did that but i see what you're saying um okay. i didn't know i didn't know they did that. yeah no it's all good but just have like just like what Overwatch did, but like once the game has kind of solidified themselves and it's what been going on, just add new creative modes to the game that already exists. Now hear me out. No game has done this because it would be weird. But what if there's a legend that is put in and it's a legend that's actually almost like a legend who's just into mischief so imagine something like loki and that character only that legend only appears in these game modes so there is a free-for-all but you can only play with this character like they're not interested in battle royale they're not interested in the story they're not interested in conquering anything they're just interested in chaos interesting so they're it's like the it's like a legend that is only for arcade mode I, to entice people in but would also keep it fresh i think what that would be a cool tie-in for for this is let's say so this is a new season right now where they introduced fuse and they usually introduce a, a new legend every time a new season starts so let's say at the beginning of the next season they introduce this trickster like character that you have described and with this trickster's character and every time a new season starts they have this event that goes on for about two weeks and they do have an interesting twist on the battle royale game mode so that's what this could be let's say the next season of apex legends we introduce this mischievous loki character and for the non-ranked game mode what it is is what we said they'll put a invisible wall around a specific area that it makes sense like artillery or like uh skull town or let's take something from the new map like um lava city and make it a team death match for a 6v6 clash and that's how they introduce the new hero and then yeah from there the new legend can be used wherever uh but they're introduced as tr tricking the games of apex legends into doing a team death match instead of a battle royale for the non-ranked and also for the lore because in the lore of apex legends the le the games of apex legends is like hunger games where people are watching this from home and like these legends are like celebrities because they're winners of the games right yeah 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 okay so this guy will like hijack the games and instead of it being like a battle royale survival of the strongest or whatever it'll be like and he'll do it like in a satire be, way yeah yeah like you could we could do it where it's like anti-government almost like a fight club kind of feel where it's like no, I'm doing this so everyone can see how ridiculous this all is. Exactly. Kind of thing. And then that's how they introduce 
the team. It, it'll almost be like a Loki combined with Riddler character. Yeah. I like it. And he'll be, uh, I mean, it's so boring because Apex has too many of these. But I, I imagine him being kind of like a silver, S- Soldier 76. Like he'll be more of a salt person because it'll be... Relevant. I would want him to be more tricky, though, tricky. like almost like a Bugs Bunny kind of character, you know, where you can't get a feel on him, okay. where maybe he can disguise himself as other characters. He can teleport. How about we like, do it's this? Not, because I know it's not going to be a balanced Legends. It's because be I know Apex character. a little bit better. Um, and I know what's lacking in terms of types of Legends, because there's too many offensive Legends already. Um, and only one truly one hero that can heal. What if it's like an Ana-like character, but instead of it being like a sniper, he uses like a, I don't know. Slingshot. Sling, yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. Like a sling that has like different, like Usopp from One Piece, where he uses like yeah. different bullets and stuff. You know? Then I'm cool with him having, then he can have two weapons. He'll have a short range slingshot and then another one on his back that's a long range slingshot. Remember, these are cooldown shots, though, because it is a battle royale, and so there's weapons yeah. on the ground. So it would be your uh, abilities oh, yeah. and then your triangle for your ultimate or whatever. Gotcha. So it's still fine, though. Like, the slingshots will be on, like, a very short cooldown. I would say, like, seven seconds, kind of like uh, Brigitte Shield Bash. But then you'll mm-hmm. be able to, like, throw a sling every once in a while, and depending on which one you use, it'll have a different cooldown and a different effect. Um, and then the ult could be like maybe like a rapid fire slingshot that does both damage and healing, just like Ana's uh, stim. You know, I like it. Um, cool. I also wanted to add one more game mode, maybe in the season after. So we'll plan the next two seasons for you, respawn. You're welcome. Uh, Apex Legends is in the universe of Titanfall. And I am astonished that they haven't done like a kaiju, a yeah, like ninety nine versus one game mode or something, or like maybe you could. I'm already on board. <laughs> maybe you could do it so it's like there's multiple titans, and then like you could either go find them, or I don't know if it's going to be a random spawn from a dead character or something like that. Um, I feel like a titan. Th- that'll probably be their like trump card when apex feels like they're How? dying they need to put what if this what if what if what if we do a 99 versus one but it doesn't but we don't reveal it to the players and what it is is it's a titanfall pilot and he's and then he's taken over and you have to go and defeat him and as you go and defeat him and you're about to defeat him he calls down the titan jumps in and then it becomes like a raid where it's mm. everyone against this guy. Kind of like one of those Fortnite big time event type things. Haven't played that either, but gotcha. probably. I mean, I haven't played it either, but I know how they do their big events yeah. where it's like during this time period, you could experience this event and they don't tell anyone what it is. And then it happens at that time. And so you're in the middle of a battle royale game. And then, yeah, a Titan will fall. How about it's more like this where it's like th- we take a page out of 13, 13 Sentinels Rim. And I know this isn't Apex or Titanfall lore. Re- reality but somehow this works and i know time travel is in existence in this game because of a newer hero named horizon came from the past uh but a similarity someone comes through the past via kind of like 13 age sentinels ages rim where their titan brings them into the future and it lands in the middle of the games and then there's the new hero and then introduces uh i guess in this game mode it'd be 59 versus 60 uh, or one versus 59, and then that's how that game mode starts. That'd be fun. That'd yeah. be fun. Yeah. And we'd have to make the the one, the the um, Titan, the person controlling the Titan, a CPU, or else that's all anybody would queue up for. Exactly. Right, right. But um, maybe maybe this will get you into Apex when they finally add Titans into it. <laughs> Did you even play Titanfall? I'll... Yeah, I really like Titanfall. Oh, really? So that's funny that you ask. Yeah, cool, so cool. I played Titanfall 2, I beat the game story mode and then I played online. And um, if you could guess, my favorite game mode was actually Titans only. Mm, interesting. I liked playing against the Titans as humans. Like I thought that was fun trying to like 
destroy the Titans it's, that way. But I, I see I, why the appeal of using just the Titan abilities to defeat each other would be your favorite. And this is a hot take, but um, you going against Titans like that in uh, Titanfall gameplay is the best Shinjo, Shinjeki no Kyoji. Oh, my God. Attack on Titan uh, gameplay you'll ever get, I think. Well, respawn. the grappling hook. Make these happen. Thanks for listening. If you have any suggestions or products you'd like to see talk about, feel free to write in at at poundgames at gmail.com. We have a Patreon. If you'd like to join the at pound family, come find us at patreon.com slash we are not game devs. Patrons receive episodes two days early, meaning make this happen. Gets your ears that much sooner. That much sooner. If you enjoyed our show, take a second to give us a review. We're on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play Store, and more. Catch you guys next Sunday with Alex's idea. Can I can I do an R-rated idea? Sure. Pasties. What sees? Pasties. Pasties. Ah, pasties, no. like for the nipples. For the nipples. Yep. Cool. We're reinventing pasties. Let's find out where this is going to go. Probably won't forget about this idea. See y'all next week and get your nipples ready. Mm-hmm. <laughs>